Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'm going to be reviewing the Nerf Elite 2.0 Wild Edition Trailblazer. Uh, it works similar to the Nerf ha Zombie Strike Hammer Shot as it's a thumb action prime single shot dual wieldable revolver cell blaster. Um, it holds eight shots as opposed to the five shots that are uh, able to be doing in the, in the hammer shot. Uh, it comes in a nice color scheme uh, similar to the Elite 2.0. Uh, and it comes with 16 Elite darts. And they are a different color scheme, just a little slightly more blue. As you can see, they have a blue uh, teal foam and blue tip. Uh, it's actually quite a nice blaster. We'll start with the aesthetics. It has a single front sight post, but no rear sight post, which makes it a little bit difficult to aim down sights, but you can kind of use the tip of the, uh, the, the priming handle as the rear sight. Um, it does not have slam fire. Um, and on the front side of the blaster, you can see there is some Nerf branding as it sails tra Trailblazer. And there's a slight opening on this side where you could possibly load one dart, but it, you do have to kind of jam it. But if you look on the other side, there's an open-ended section where you can fit three and you just kind of revolve the cylinder to, to reload without having to prime. Uh, the grip itself is a little small. I'm a full-size adult, um, but it does fit in my full palm. It just feels like if it was maybe a, an inch longer, it might be a little bit more comfortable, but overall, a, quite a comfortable grip. Um, it, is a, it is easily, you know, the priming action is similar to any Elite Blasters on the market right now, so you, it is able to be dual-wielded. It has a, a longer barrel than the, the Hammer Shot, but... I actually kind of like the aesthetics of this blaster, as you can see, um, and it shoots with the standard uh, elite style FPS. I do not have a chronograph yet, but I've seen other reviewers state that it, it, it shoots about 70 to 75 FPS. So on the top, there is no, uh, there's no tack rail, which kind of a bummer. Um, but on the bottom, there is an end strike barrel, uh, sorry, tack rail that you could probably put a a grip if you wanted for a, a revolver, which wouldn't really make much sense, but you know, whatever you want to do. Overall, this is a very fun blaster. Um, it's easy to spin in the hand um, to give you that cool cowboy style um, aesthetic. Um, I've had a couple of uh, battles in my office and I really enjoyed this blaster. Um, I'm looking forward to doing some more um, testing with this one uh, and maybe some more reviews in the future. So, uh, you know, leave your comments in the comment section. Let me know what you think if you've used it or if you have any alternatives that maybe perform a little bit better. Um, it is comfortable for uh, younger nerfers as well as older ones. So, you know, if you have kids or, or your kids yourself and you like to play with this one, this would be very comfortable in the hand. It's not very heavy, so you don't have to worry about it, it dipping down when you're trying to use it. So other than that, you know, it's a, it's a real fun blaster. You can find it at Walmart on shelves now. Uh, for about 17 US dollars. Uh, so pretty, pretty reasonably priced. Um, so yeah, um, thanks for thanks for watching and tune in for more videos. I really appreciate you guys stopping by.